Hello, this is Reverend Angelia with Two Days Wisdom. <clears throat> in spite of this, many of us are in the habit of trying to be perfect, and we're never going to be. One way to nudge ourselves out of this tendency is to look at our lives and notice that no one is judging us to see whether or not we are perfect. And that's always not necessarily true, but those people who are looking at you and judging at you um, to see if you're perfect, they're the ones that actually have a problem. Um, because the way other treat, people treat you is always a reflection of, you know, how they are. Um, if they're treating you in a negative way. Um, because someone who's looking out for you is going to treat you in a positive, constructive way. They're going to try and get you to, you know, uh, be your best, uh, not be perfect. Um, so, you know, if anybody's slinging and arrowing at you, means they got some of their own issues. Sometimes, perfectionism is a holdover from our childhood. Um, and, of course, there are some of us who had very demanding parents, um, and we were expected to be perfect. And, of course, no one can be perfect, unless your name is Jesus, um, and uh, especially children are not perfect. I mean, your brain's not even wired right yet when you're a child. So, of course, you're not going to be perfect. Um, but if you were punished and chastised for not being perfect, then, of course, you try to be perfect to avoid that punishment. So that sets you up for perfectionism later in life. An idea we inherited from a demanding parent. We are adults now, and if you are, <laughs> and we can choose to let go of the need to perform for someone else's approval, um, because that's what it is. Um, when you are stuck in perfectionism, you look at that, who are you trying to be perfect for? You want other people to approve of you, um, and once you realize, I'm not perfect, I'm just me. Um, then you can take that step back and say, you know, I'm not going to beat myself to death um, every day with this and cause myself stress and ulcers and problems. Because I used to do that. Yeah, in my 30s, I was the queen of that. <laughs> but then I realized it's not doing me any good. It's not doing me any good. It's hurting me. <laughs> so I had to take a step back. And that's what you need to do is take a step back and say, Why? Why am I doing this? <laughs> Similarly, we can choose to experience the universe as a loving place where we are free to be imperfect. And it is. And that's what Jesus said. Then none of us are going to be perfect. No, not one. So, you know, if we have the authority uh, on this. You know, the uh, ruler of the universe tells us this. Um, then, of course, we should believe him. And it's okay. You just have to do your best. That's all he wants is that you do your best. Because you're never going to be perfect. And by trying to be perfect, you're just going to end up hurting yourself. Once we realize this, we can take ourselves less seriously <laughs> and have more fun. Um, and now, uh, one of my grandmothers was very ladylike. Um, she was raised that way. Uh, she went to finishing school with her sister. Um, so, you know, um, that was kind of put on me, you know, I remember being young and, you know, being asked to walk with a book on my head to see that I could keep, you know, the balance of that. And, uh, you know, some people come up with that. Um, but, you know, uh, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. And you're never going to be, you know. So we have Jesus' permission to realize that and to stop trying so hard to be perfect and just try to be our best and be happy with that and realize, you know, I did the best I could and let it go. Because if you know you did the best you could, you can let it go. And what anybody else has to say about that is a reflection of them. If you know you did your best. And that way you can have more fun with your life. You can enjoy your life more. 
Um, Im imperfection is inherent to being human. Um, you're not a god. You're a human being. Um, and you're imperfect. The facts of life. Because we're made of flesh. <laughs> By embracing your imperfections, you embrace yourself. Because we all have little funny things, little quirks about us that make us us. You know, it's called having a personality. <laughs> so that's the end of that one. Um, set yourself free, letting go of perfection. Um, that was from the Daily Om uh, back in um, May of 2008. All right, well, that's it for now. Until next time.